Hi, it's Marva Riley, and I've been posting tips on breast cancer prevention since October 1st because, you know, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, where every month really should be breast cancer on all cancer and all diseases awareness month. But since October, I've been posting tips on Breast Cancer Awareness Month or Breast Cancer Prevention, actually. And there's really no one tip really or strategy or step that anyone can take to prevent breast cancer. No one, it's a, it's a, it's a lifestyle really, a holistic lifestyle. It involves not just our physical health, but our emotional health and, or, or mental health or spiritual health. It's, it has to be a holistic approach to prevent not just breast cancer, but any cancer for that matter, any disease for that matter. Know what I mean? So to prevent breast cancer or to help to prevent cancer, because certainly we know nothing is 100%, right? We're doing our best to incorporate a healthy lifestyle to prevent breast cancer. So the studies have shown that our diet is the number one thing. A lot of food that we eat, like these processed meats, these bacon and sausages, you know, uh, red meat, even chicken and fish, because they, they, they contaminate a lot of what we eat. Even the fruits and the vegetables we eat are contaminated. But the studies have shown that if we embrace a primarily plant-based diet, meaning we eat more fruits, more vegetables, more nuts, grains, roots, you know, that that helps to prevent every disease, really. Not just breast cancer, but colon cancer, which is, I think, the number number two cause of death. Um, all cancers, heart disease, strokes, high cholesterol, um, diabetes, even mental health issues like depression. And anxiety and insomnia are linked to improper diet. So eating a, a diet, having a dietary lifestyle of eating more plants than, than meats and also limiting the amount of processed foods that we eat, limiting and the amount of processed sugar, that granulated sugar, that soda, those juices and things like that. So diet. Exercise like I'm doing right now. Get outside and walk. You know, go to the gym if you have, if you can. But walking is free and it's so much fun because you're out there in nature. Exercise regularly. Studies have shown that too. Right? That walking and exercise helps to prevent cancer. And if you already have cancer, oh, they are so helpful to help to reverse these disease conditions and get outside and get some fresh air, you know, um, connect with nature. The oxygen that you get from the trees and the plants helps our body, our body's immune system to fight diseases, to stay healthy, to get healthy, help with sleep or mental health. So many people walk around so depressed and sad all the time. Get outside and get some vitamin D, the sunshine vitamin that is so good for our mood. But vitamin D also helps to boost our immune system. And diseases are of the immune system. Cancer is because your immune system isn't good. So cancer cells have taken over the body because your immune system isn't good. You know what I mean? So it's healthy eating, regular exercise, fresh air, sunlight, and sleep. Did you know that it is when your body is at rest that it heals and repairs itself? It's at night when you sleep and when you're not eating, you're not drinking. That's when the body heals and repairs itself. So sleep is important. You can't put sleep on the back burden and expect that, that you're going to be healthy. You got to get sleep. And they're saying seven to eight hours is the minimum that we should be getting. So rather than being watching TV, on social media, doing whatever it is what one does at night, 
you should be getting to bed at a good time, 10, 1030, you know, and uh, get a good seven to eight hours of sleep. What else did I miss? Have fun. Enjoy life and don't stress yourself so much. Stress lowers our immune system. Stress leads, excess stress that is, you know, because life happens and we will be stressed. But excess stress decreases our immune system, makes our body create inflammation. Um, when we're excessively stressed, we, our mind is not at rest. We're anxious. We can't sleep. Our body just can't heal and repair itself. So decrease the stress level by enjoying life. Enjoying the things around us. Enjoy nature. Enjoy your family. Enjoy your friends. Don't worry so much. So those are some of the tips that I have, that I've read, that I know other holistic practitioners uh, will teach. That in order to prevent breast cancer, colon cancer, brain cancer, whatever cancer, we, 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 we're dealing with nowadays, got to approach it from a holistic standpoint. Nutrition, exercise, sleep, um, decrease your stress level, get plenty of fresh sunlight. I mean, pr fresh air and sunlight. Drink water instead of coffee. Coffee is acidic, makes your body acidic. And you know what? Diseases cannot live in an alkaline body. Diseases love acidic body. They thrive in acidic body. Diseases, did you know that cancer loves sugar? That kind of thing. So if your body is more alkaline, diseases can survive in there. But if your body is acidic, diseases will love your body. So you have to disease proof your body. You have to cancer proof your body. Like I said, nothing is 100% guaranteed. But if you take care of your health, then you have a fighting chance that if something happens like breast cancer or any other cancer, you'll have a fighting chance to fight it and beat it. Or better yet, you will have a good chance of avoiding breast, colon, whatever cancer, diabetes, heart disease, hypertension, high cholesterol, and all those chronic health issues that are claiming lives by the every day. Thousands of people are dying, millions of people are dying across the world because of poor nutrition, lack of exercise, obesity. That's another thing. Diseases love overweight and obesity. So you gotta do your best to try to maintain a normal weight by changing the way you live, by changing your lifestyle and embracing a holistic, healthy lifestyle. This is Marva Riley. Let me know if you like this. I would love to hear from you. Was this helpful for you? Take care. And remember to follow me on all social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I am on LinkedIn, TikTok. And I have a website that you can visit, rnmarvariley.com. And I have four holistic health and wellness books that are available on Amazon for purchase for $5.99. You know, the Bible says, the people perish for lack of knowledge. So you got to educate yourself to empower yourself to become and remain the healthiest version of yourself.